Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about Milanote, especially if you're just starting out. Milanote is an amazing tool for organizing your ideas and projects into visually engaging boards. Whether you're working on creative briefs, project planning, or even mood boards, Milanote can help you stay creative and organized at the same time. In this video, I'll show you how to sign up for Milanote, explain its key features, and guide you through getting started with your first project. So let's dive in and get started. If you're new to Milanote, let me give you an overview. Milanote is a tool that helps creatives organize their ideas in a visual way. It's great for tasks like brainstorming, creating mood boards, managing projects, or anything where visualizing your thoughts is important. One of the best things about Milanote is its drag and drop interface. This makes it super easy to use, even if you're not tech savvy. You can move things around, add different types of content, and organize your work just the way you like it. Milanote is also entirely web-based, which means you can access your project from any device with an internet connection, no matter if you're working alone or collaborating with a team. It's designed to fit into your workflow seamlessly. That's why so many people find it ideal for creative projects and professional use. Now, let me show you how you can sign up for a Milanote account. The process is quick and straightforward, so let's get started. First, go to milanote.com. Once you're on the homepage, click the Sign Up for Free button at the top right corner of the screen. This will take you to the Sign Up page. On the Sign Up page, you'll see a form that requires your name, email address, and password. Enter your first name and last name in the respective fields. Then type in a valid email address and choose a strong password for your account. If you prefer, you can also sign up using your Google or Apple account by clicking on their respective buttons at the bottom of the form. Once you've filled in all the details, check the box to agree to Milanote's terms and privacy policy. You can also opt in to receive occasional news and updates if you're interested. After completing the form, click the submit button. And that's it, your account is now created and you'll be directed to the Milanote dashboard where you could start exploring its features and tools. Now, let's take a look at the Milanote interface and explore its key features. On the left-hand side, you'll see a vertical menu with a variety of tools designed to enhance your creative workflow. Starting from the top, you have the Note tool, which allows you to create text notes. Below that is the Link tool, perfect for adding external links to your board. The To-Do tool lets you create task lists, while the Line tool helps you visually connect different elements on your board. Next, we have the Board tool, which acts as a sub-canvas where you can organize related ideas. The the column tool is great for arranging content in a structured way, and the comment tool allows you to add feedback or notes. The table tool is ideal for organizing data, and the three dots reveal additional options like sketching, adding colors, documents, audio, maps, videos, and headings. The three dots also offer additional features such as sketching, adding colors, documents, audio, maps, videos, and headings. Below these, you'll see the add image option to upload visuals, the upload tool for adding files, the draw tool for freehand sketches and finally the trash where deleted items are stored. In the main canvas you'll see a blank space where all your creative work happens. This is your visual workspace where you can drag and drop elements, organize ideas and build your project. At the top right corner there are more options to enhance your experience. You'll find the refer a friend link to earn extra space, the undo and redo tools to make changes, a device preview option to see how your work looks on different devices and a search bar to quickly locate items. You'll also find a notification bell, settings, and a help menu to access resources and tutorials. That's a quick overview of the Milanote interface. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We develop top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video. Now let's discuss the projects in Milanote. For those who don't know what a project in Milanote is, let me quickly explain. Project in Milanote is a dedicated space where you can brainstorm ideas, gather inspiration, and organize tasks related to a specific goal. It's like a digital bulletin board that helps you visualize and structure your creative process. Let's say you're designing a logo for a new sneaker brand. First, drag out a board for the project on the left menu and give it a name like sneaker brand logo. Double click on the board to open it. Inside, you'll find a freeform canvas that you can customize however you like. Begin by adding notes to capture ideas or, or write a summary of the project. 
project. Drag in images from your computer and add captions by simply typing. Millanote also provides a built-in image library with millions of photos, which is great for finding inspiration. To experiment with colors, click the three dots and then choose color option. Then adjust color palettes based on your needs. You can also add a checklist or to-do list to keep track of tasks and ensure the project stays on schedule. Once you've added all your content, it's time to organize. Use columns to group related ideas like design inspiration or project requirements. The beauty of Millanote is that it allows you to visually arrange everything in a way that makes sense to you. If you want to create a subcategory within your project, simply drag out another board and nest it within the main board. For instance, you can create a mood board to store all your visual references. To save time, use Millanote's templates to quickly set up a mood board or other project layouts. Just drag and drop content into place. To navigate back to your main project board, click the home option on the top left corner. Once your project is ready, you can invite others to collaborate. They can add their own ideas, comments and feedback and you'll be notified whenever they do. That's how you can create and manage a project in Millanote. It's a powerful tool to help you stay organized and bring your creative ideas to life. Lastly, let's talk about how to switch between light and dark mode in Millanote. If you work on projects for long hours, a bright screen can tire your eyes. To avoid this, Millanote provides a dark mode option. Switching between light and dark mode in Millanote is easy. First, click on the settings icon in the top right corner. In the settings menu, select appearance. This gives you three theme options, light theme, dark theme, and match system theme. To use dark mode, choose the dark theme and the interface will immediately switch to a darker design, which is more comfortable for your eyes in low light settings. If you want to go back to the light theme, just select it and the screen will return to the default bright mode. The match system theme option is also useful. When enabled, Millanote automatically adjusts to match your device's theme. For example, if your system switches to dark mode at night, Millanote will follow. If it's set to light mode during the day, Millanote will match that too. This feature lets you adjust the interface to suit your preference and make your workspace more comfortable, whether you work during the day or late at night. And Millanote is a tool that helps creatives organize their ideas in a visual way. It's great for tasks like brainstorming, creating mood boards, managing projects, or anything where visualizing your thoughts is important. One of the best things about Millanote is its drag and drop interface. This makes it super easy to use, even if you're not tech savvy. You can move things around, add different types of content, and organize your work just the way you like it. Millanote is also entirely web-based, which means you can access your projects from any device with an internet connection, no matter if you're working alone or collaborating with a team. It's designed to fit into your workflow seamlessly. That's why so many people find it ideal for creative projects and professional use. That's it for this tutorial. Today we covered how to sign up for Millanote, explored its interface, and even learned how to create and organize a project. We also showed you how to switch between light and dark modes. I hope this tutorial made everything clear and easy to follow. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with Millanote, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.